everyone. Uh, my name is Juliana. I'm the owner of the Evolution Store. And today I'm gonna talk to you about trilobites. And the reason I'm gonna talk to you about trilobites is because I just finished redoing our trilobite display. And I think it looks pretty good if I do say so myself. So I wanted to give you a little preview. If you haven't been in the store in the past couple of days, you might not have seen it. Maybe I encourage you to come down and check it out. So let me show you our new trilobite display. So we start with the smaller pieces, right? And then we go down to our real collector items down here. And um, I will take some of these out and show you some close-ups, but you can see we have a bunch of individual specimens from a bunch of different species. We even have a little bit of jewelry, some trilobite earrings, which are very cute. Then we have some really large specimens that are really interesting and special, different species again, um, that are really very unusual. And then we have some larger pieces where you can get a bunch of trilobites in one matrix. Um, so this one comes with three. And then this one is really interesting because it's a pair. So it's the rock um, that, has, that it was found in split in two. And so on the right side, you can see the actual trilobites. And on the left, you can see the impressions that are left in the rock when it was split open. So this is being sold as a pair, which I think is pretty awesome. So um, trilobites, I learned today actually, means three lobes. That's what it's called. That's why it's named that. And the reason for that, I think, from my sort of you know, quick research that I did is because it has these, most of them have these three sections, right? They have the head, the middle part, and then the bottom part is usually a little bit different. And so that's why it's called that. Um, and trilobites lived a long time ago. These in particular are over 500 million years old. Um, so they lived before the dinosaurs, and I think they went extinct before the dinosaurs even showed up. Is that right, Robbie? I didn't hear you, sir. Did trilobites go extinct before the dinosaurs showed up? Yeah, the Permian extinction is the largest extinction that ever happened. The largest extinction event. That's when the trilobites went bye-bye. Just double checking with my, uh, my resident paleontologist here. So let me show you some of these cool ones that I have back here. So trilobites are um, in the arthropod family, which means that they are sort of distant cousins and distant relatives to insects. Um, and you can see that in some of the different, you know, kind of shapes and morphology and stuff like that. They're, they're related to beetles. Like for example, this one, you know, looks very much like a rhino beetle, right? It has this really cool horn, um, which I imagine was used for digging or fighting or mating or something like that. And the other thing that's interesting about trilobites, especially these ones that are more well-preserved, is their eyes. Their eyes are extremely developed um, and you can really see that. So this one, for example, is a Moroccanides species um, found in Morocco. All of these up here are from Morocco. And um, they come sometimes with these like amazing different like shapes, kind of like almost looks like, like wings or something like that. And so these were marine creatures. And so I imagine that this was used for you know, sort of gliding through the water and navigation, but it looks like, you know, kite sails or something like that. Really, really interesting shapes. I especially like those. And then, um, if you can see this one, yeah, if I can get close enough, you can see it has eyes that are developed almost kind of like a, like a fly's eyes, right? So it has these, like, hundreds and hundreds of tiny little facets to its eyes. So it's believed that trilobites had very advanced eyesight, um, which is interesting. And these specimens are so well preserved. You can see all these little tiny bumps and nodules and all kinds of details. And they're really beautiful. And um, trilobites, there was a tremendous variety of them. There were tons and tons and tons of different species of trilobites. Um, and we only have a small sample here, obviously, but we try and keep a large variety. So, because there's so much interesting 
nuances and the shapes and sizes and stuff like that. This one is very cool. I'm gonna turn it around very carefully to show you because speaking of eyes, this one has eye stalks like a snail. Um, and these are so incredibly fragile. That's why we keep it under glass here because if your hand were just to brush against the eye, sto eye, eye stalks, they would, you know, fall off. So the amount of care that is taken when excavating these is really, uh, really tremendous and takes a lot, a lot of patience and a lot of skill to come up with an intact trilobite at the end of the day, um, especially when eye stalks are involved because they're so incredibly fragile. So that is a little preview of our new trilobite display. So I hope that you come check it out if you're in the city. Um, otherwise, we're gonna be running a special on trilobites on our website. Uh, we don't have any of these really special one-of-a-kind pieces listed on there. So if any of these are of interest, please drop us a line, send us an email, message us on social media. We'd be more than happy to send you pictures and prices. Um, but for um, what's listed on our website, we usually have some of the smaller ones um, on our website. We're working on getting more, more things up every day, but there's always new stuff coming in, so it's hard to catch up. But in any case, I hope you enjoy this uh, trilobite video. And yeah, let us know if you have any trilobites in your collection and which species you have. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.